jump up to game number five, and here's where all, as we talked about, that pulsating, pounding drama really began to unfold. Yeah, now it's a best of three series, and uh, the thing about it, with each game in Cleveland, the crowd's intensity grew to the point now in game five, people are really getting into it big time. Walls are starting to shake. People are getting there, and when they open the door an hour and a half in front of the ball game, they come in, they stand, and they start cheering. Uh, there is a fever pitch being developed in these last couple of home games. It was just phenomenal. The fever pitch developed, as Joe says. Yeah, the walls were shaking, and Joe was right there with the call. The Cavaliers now, as we pick it up, in the fourth quarter of game number five, up by five at 76-71. But there's a couple of big runs coming up here, so let's take a peek. As series tied it to a piece, we go to the fourth quarter of game five with the Cavaliers up by five. The Cavaliers are trailed at the end of the first half by one, now lead at the end of three by five. Big quarter for the Washington Bullets. Big quarter for the Washington Bullets. Jimmy Jones, 15. Phil Shinier, 45. Nick Weatherspoon, 12. Elvin Hayes, 11 and 33. Leonard Robinson will open the fourth. Jones tried to draw the foul with a good act, but did not. Chenier with the ball. Stops, shoots. He puts it up. No good. Elvin Hayes got knocked out of bounds. Had to come back in. They say he didn't get in in time. He was out and came in. Cleveland with 34, Austin Carr. 14, Foots Walker. 20, Campy Russell. Bingo Smith, number seven, and Jones, 22. They have three reserves on the floor, while the Bullets also... Well, they only have two reserves on the floor right now in tonight's ball game. Speaking of on the floor, I don't think I've seen a game when so many people have been on the floor. Yeah, that's a, that's a point. Campy Russell didn't get it there. On the floor, Spoon picks it off. Jimmy Jones, 15 out of Grambling in his ninth year. Len Robinson out of Tennessee State. Robinson over Smith. Offensive foul. Offensive foul. Fourth on Robinson. And not running their offense very well right now. They're going to have to bring Wes Unsell back in the basketball game. Got to get him back in. They, Robinson couldn't find anybody to go to and uh, had to go up with a shot. And he jumped in. The same thing that Russell did earlier. They're going to get Dave Bing back in the ball game. Dick Snyder on the bench. 24 points for Cleveland. He has four fouls. Five fouls, rather. There's a shot by Kenny Russell. Ten for Russell. Seven lead. lead. Seven point lead matches the biggest lead in the ball game for either team. The Bullets have led by seven, and now the Cavaliers have led by seven. Underneath the Jones. Blocked by Russell. Hayes shoots. Basket is. Foul on Foots Walker. Walker gets a foul. The basket is no good. He went in. He disallowed the basket. Look at a block by Russell. Good block by Russell. Good block by Russell. You see him going up. For Weatherspoon, that's five. I this Bill Chenier was foul that time, but they didn't call it. Bullets cannot lose their composure right now. They're going to have to keep their composure and play good, sound basketball. The momentum has gone to Cleveland right here, the way they're shooting the ball and they're moving the ball well. Russell! In and out! Should have gotten a point for that one. That rimmed twice and came out. Bing, nice move. Off the glass, left it short. The follow underneath is good. good. Elvin Hayes. Great follow by Hayes and great follow to get in position to get this ball. See him going up and he gets fouled. Fouls could change this whole ball game pretty quickly with all this time left, 10 minutes and two seconds. Jones with four, Snyder with five. In front of the largest crowd ever to see an NBA playoff game, They've broken a record, Sonny, here three consecutive times, and the largest crowd ever to see a Cavalier game here at the Coliseum in Richfield. You think they're in the game? You think they're enthusiastic? <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> with that standing ovation every time Cleveland comes on the court. 21,132. Hayes at the free throw line. 
Elvin is six out of eight tonight. Nineteen points for the Big E. Four point lead for Cleveland. Nine fifty to play. Game four, five rather. Game six will be Monday night at the Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland, and tickets are available. Bingo Smith inside. Austin Carr, Jim Clemens, put it up, not close. He has not had a great night. He's only has four points, got them all in the first period. One field goal and two free throws. I think the fans scared him a little bit then. They all hollered shoot when they saw the clock running down. Nick Weatherspoon puts up the shot from outside and hits it. Spoonie with 11. Composure, take your time, chip away at this lead, play good sound defense, and uh, the Bulls are back in the basketball game. Of course, they've never been out of it, really. Bullets have scored five unanswered points now after being down seven. And they trail by two. Bingo blocked by Elvin Hayes. Good play by Hayes. Great play. 8.53 left to play in the ball game. Washington trailing by two, 78-76. Washington, both teams playing good defense now. Chenier, mismatch with Brewer. Couldn't put him in the air. Weatherspoon to Chenier again. Again with Brewer. Puts it up this time and hits it. Phil Chenier, 13 points. And we have a tie ball game at 78. And the Bullets have just run off seven unanswered points after trailing by seven. This has to be the biggest quarter in the series. That's right. Uh, Bullets are playing very, very well right now, defensively and offensively. Look at that. Jones, turnaround shot. No. Hayes with a rebound. Eight ties. We're tied at 78. We were tied at 30 the last time. 13 lead changes. 12 in the first half. We got a That's whistle. a foul on Jones. Jones. He puts Elvin Hayes right out of position. Five on Jones. So the Cavaliers are faced with a critical situation. Their top scorer, Dick Snyder, has 24 points and is on the bench with five fouls. I don't know if this is a, a tough situation because they're coming with Nate Thurman right now, Mike. And Jones now has picked up his fifth. He has 12 points. And Nate Thurman will check in. Kathy Russell will check in. Jim Jones goes out and Bingo Smith goes out. Smith only with two fouls. He's got 15 points. They want to rest him a while. 8.01 to play. Tied at 78. Bullets have scored seven points in a row. Chenier lost the handle, put it up anyhow. Went up with the shot, had a good shot, in fact, and then just lost the handle on the ball. That's Campy Russell. Basket no good, but he was fouled out front. I think Nick Witherspoon just fouled out. Didn't he? No, I think it was Chenier. Fourth on Chenier. Cleveland with a basketball. Tied at 78. They led 78-71. Russell works out front, stops, takes the shot. He got it. 12 for Campy Russell. You can't get a good shot, so you take a 27-foot jumper. <laughs> it's unbelievable, these Cavaliers. Boy. Hang them right in there. Elvin Hayes with Nate Thurman. There's Big. Bing, back to Chenier, stops, blocked by Brewer, gets it back, shot goes up anyhow, didn't hit it. On the floor, Thurman will pick it up. Looks deep, he had Austin Carr, but he just didn't want to chance it. He wanted to unload it. That's what you call recocking, reloading. That, was, that looked a little like a hook and go, huh? <laughs> you wait for it to go. Follow by Thurman is no good. Unsell takes it away for Washington. Two-point lead for Cleveland. 6.50 to play. This is game five. The series is all even at 2-2, and this game has been the same way. Bing almost loses it, still holds it. Unsell, top of the key, back to Bing. Four seconds on the shot clock, and the bullets throw it away. No, they don't. Goes off with Clemens, they say. I think they're holding the ball too long. They're not giving the ball up. Yeah, not, they don't have any movement. They're trying to post Clemens down low there, and... I think they should get a little more movement and uh, get the good percentage shot up around the free throw line. Clemens. Wait a minute. Something happened here. Joe Gishu is over at the scoring to the scorer's table. KC Jones is coming down the line. KC's think... got a question. Seems to be reasonably satisfied to the answer that he either got or didn't get. 
and Fitch did the same thing. They both walked toward the scores table. A pass inbounds to Bing. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Now five, Bing puts the shot up. No, rebound on the floor to Clemens who took it away at Thurman boxed out, lead pass, Brewer. Austin Carr underneath, flips it back out front, taken away by Russell, but the bullets come up with it. They're two on two. Bing now with Chenier, throws it away to Weatherspoon. Tough chance. Yeah. That was a big Very play. careless play, careless play then. Good hustle on the Cavaliers' part, getting back. Two-point lead for Cleveland, 80 to 78. Six minutes left to play in this ball game. Maybe I should start saying in regulation. Austin Carr with Weatherspoon goes inside. Layup good. First basket of the night for Austin Carr. Don't let him, don't let him start being a believer. A lead again of four by the Cavaliers. 82-78. 540 left to play. Bing out front. Unsell loses it. Unsell flat footed lost it. Did not go out to meet the pass. There's a little tough chance for him to... Campy Russell! Well, let's trail by three. 425 left in this ballgame. 84-81. 52 Brewer. 34 Austin Carr. Moves in on Haskins. Underneath. Layup. Yep. Nope. Rolled around. Came out. He acted like he had that one. And I believed him. I thought he had it also. Jimmy Jones. Some mighty good effort on his part. Weatherspoon. Baseline right. His shot's off the side of the glass. Rebound of Russell. I believe if I was KC Jones, I'd have Weatherspoon sitting down for a while. Campy Russell's shot is short. Get some more movement. Lead pass. Unsell to Elvin Hayes. Beautiful play. Beautiful play right there. Campy That's Russell. Pitch is really upset because Campy took that shot. 84-83. Bullets to within one with 337 left. That's moving the basketball. No dribble on the and after the shot. No dribble. He took the ball down. Brewer, bad shot. Oh. Tap is good by Russell. Nobody near him. That was a gift right there. And looked like the bullets knew he took the shot. I don't think they expected him to take the shot. I don't think Bill Fitch did he. <laughs> Haskins, Hayes, back to Clem. Puts up the shot from 17, rims it, no good. Clem Haskins with 22 last night, has yet to hit here tonight for a single point. I thought he rushed that shot. He rushed that shot that time. Clemens, got off. Austin Carr. Campy Russell, five seconds left on the shot clock. Puts it up. Offensive. Offensive foul, Campy Russell. Now for Russell, that's four. He jumped into him again. Bullets trail at 86-83. 2.44 left to play in this ball game. Got all kind of opportunities to get back in this game. Bullets with Jones, Chenier, Hayes, Unseld, and Weatherspoon. That, has, that basket's looking a little tighter for Haskins tonight. There's Chenier who gets a big one for Washington. Chenier with 15. One point lead. 86 85. 225 left. They're going to go to Campy Russell in this situation. Brewer shoves Hayes away. <laughs> Boy, he did. Because he didn't go for that. Austin Carr puts up the shot after the whistle, and a foul is called on Jones. Jimmy's first. Still it was not before in the, the shot, so it's a good foul. <laughs> it's a good foul it's before the shot. Austin looked like he had one ring in there. 2-10 to play. One-point lead, Cleveland, 86-85. Clemens, Brewer, Thurman, Russell, and Carr in the light-colored shirts. Two minutes left in the game. That's Brewer. Look where he is now. If he takes Campy a jump, Russell. he'll... Fall away shot. Nope, no good. Thurman for the rebound. Foul is going to oh, be called. Oh, Thurman. Thurman. And look at Nate Thurman. That's a tough call. I tell you, uh, it's a tough call. They're both going up for the rebound. 
You can see Alvin with the inside position here. He misjudged his jump, and there comes Thurman. Ah, oh, Sonny, I thought that was have been a jump ball. I think it's a jump ball. Play. They should have had a jump ball there. Jump ball. Yoga shoe missed that. I have to agree. Dick Sad. Snyder has come back into the ball game. Snyder with 24 points in this game, five fouls, and they have had him out of there for most of this fourth period. This is the most amazing thing to me. People are starting to file out of this place just so they can get out of here because it takes so long with a basketball game as great as this. And it's tied at 86. Big play right here. Elvin's got to get this one down. Oh, he didn't. 86-86, the ninth tie in the ball game. We have not been tied since we were tied at 78 after the Bullets had run off seven straight points. A minute 35 left. They got a Brewer. new guard, Jim Brewer. Look who they got handling the ball. Thurman, Clemens, inside, shots up. Tap is good! They didn't box Brewer off the board. Brewer gets the tap. Well, Clemens' penetration forced it. 88-86, minute 18 to play. Bullets trail by two, unselled inside. Lays it underneath the Hayes. It's good. Is good, and he's fouled. And who's the foul on? Snyder. I think the foul's going to be on, Nick, on Snyder. The basket's good. Thurman got That's the foul. Thurman. <laughs> Snyder was really, really. You're wishing. There he is. Now Snyder got knocked down. 88-88. Great assist by Wes Ansel here. He could have taken the jumper inside of the free throw lane and dealt it off to, to Hayes for the dunk. Hayes can give the Bullets a one-point lead. We are tied at 88 with a minute 12 left to play. Elvin at the line for the three-point play, and he gets it. 25 for Elvin Hayes, and the Bullets lead it again. We talked about it being pulsating. Certainly was. 89-88, Bullets on top by one with 72 seconds left. Cavaliers in the timeout. While the Cavaliers talk about it, let's talk about it with the legendary shooting guard from the Cavalier days gone by. Pleased to be joined by Austin Carr. AC, you know, the first thing that comes to mind when I look at you at, mm -hmm. during this point of the miracle of Richfield year is all of the, uh, the trauma you came through to get to the point to be able to play again because you seriously blew out a knee the year before, averaging 25 points a game. But your role changes now. You come in and now you're coming off the bench what did that do to you psychologically as you went through this miracle of Richfield year? Well, well Mike, you know, I, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked me about that because that's the, you're the first person that's really kind of asked me about what it was like to start all my career and all of a sudden come off the bench. It was a whole different mental approach for me, and I didn't know how to handle it because I was always too anxious, too mm -hmm. anxious to get the job done. Whereas as a starter, I could kind of lead myself into it. And I was always felt like I was pressured to, I had to score or do something right away, otherwise I was sitting down. And, and, and it took me a while to realize that, you know, you don't have to rush into it, uh, that I'm not expected to score the 25 points every night. So consequently, I was just getting used to that uh, at that end of the season at that particular time. Big, though, in game three was Austin Curry at 18 points off the bench. Very strong to put the Cavaliers up two games to one. We're going to come back with more, Austin. A lot more to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Before that, going to again set the scene for you. Minute 12 left. Cavaliers down by one. Bill Fitch is mapping it out in this mm -hmm. final 72 seconds. Obviously will always be remembered as its rightful place in Cavalier history. So don't move. We're coming right back on Cavs Classics with more with Austin Carr in the final 72 seconds in game number five. Stick around. Clemens will inbound it. 112 left. Washington up by one. Clemens into Russell. Russell sideline left down to a minute and ten. Russell standing on the left. Russell moves it on Weatherspoon. Out front to Brewer. Brewer between the circles. Brewer top of the key. Gives to Clemens. A minute to go. Clemens out front. Ten on the shot clock. Give to Snyder. Snyder top of the key. 20 footer. Go! Snyder with 26. 90 to 89, Cleveland by one. 50 seconds to go in the game. Bing into the fourth court. Bing against Clemens out front. Bing and Clemens one on one. 44 seconds left. Bing on the right wing. The bounce to Chenier. Chenier right of the lane, spin, shoots over Snyder. Good. Chenier has 17. 91, 90 bullets. 36 seconds to go in the game. Into the fourth court, Clemens. Clemens between the circles. 
30 seconds to play. Left side can't be Russell. Russell against Weatherspoon. 26 seconds to go. Brewer, right wing. Right side, Snyder. Snyder with pressure from Chenier. Snyder dribbles top of the key. Five on the shot clock. Pass inside. Banged away by Unsell. Picked up by Hayes. The Bullets can kill the clock. Coming down the floor. Bing into the forecourt. Now to Hayes on the right. He's fouled by Russell. Seven seconds left. And the Bullets lead by a point. Hayes will shoot two. He could give the Cavaliers an almost insurmountable task. Seven seconds left and the Bullets lead 91 to 90. Hayes line right. He takes a long look. Sights it. And shoots it. No good! 91, 97 seconds left. Hayes again. Line right. Sights it. Shoots it. No good! Rebound board. Time on Cleveland. Six seconds to go in the game. And Elvin Hayes missed two free shots. And the Cavaliers take time. There are six seconds left in this game. Washington leads 91 to 90. Elvin Hayes just stood at the free shot line and missed two free shots. And now the Cavaliers get one more shot. Snyder at center floor. Snyder waits. Pass to Jones. Top of the key. Foul. Unsell the foul. Unsell takes the foul. That's his fifth. And it is the first of the final two minutes. So Snyder will inbound again. They had one to give and they took it. Took a second off the clock. Now five seconds to go. Pass out to Bingo. Bingo on the run. The gun. No. Rebound. Clement. Clement got it. Clement got a rebound. And the game's over. Cleveland wins. 92-91. Unbelievable. Jimmy Clement rebounded a missed shot with one second to go. And the Cavaliers have won it. And the place is going crazy. have you a part of Cavs Classics, our Christmas present to you, and we're dealing with the miracle of Richfield year, the 75-76 Cavaliers season with Austin Carr and Joe Tate. Guys, the reception that this town provided the ball club coming back after, we might add, the 102-98 Washington Game 6 win. Series even at three, but this crowd's ready to blow the roof off and become maybe the biggest boost, the biggest six man you guys had. Well, I think this is when the crowd became the actual, the, the slogan, six man, was this particular game because we, it was a devastating loss we had in Washington overtime, and we were geared for that game. We wanted that game. And uh, coming back in town, we were tired and uh, a little bit deflated, but the crowd was there. They were not going to let us lose, uh, as Joe said. And, and it, it, it just was a, it's a weird feeling to be physically exhausted, but have your adrenaline flowing like, like, unbelievable. I mean, it just, it just was a great feeling. Joe, as a broadcaster, now you're trying to stay in an even keel, but maybe the crowd's <laughs> really not letting you do that, are they? No, by this time, uh, I had uh, developed a case of uh, babbling idiocy. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I kind of let it all hang out, especially in games five and seven. But you know what, Michael, they, they got to us at the airport, getting off the airplane. The people going out of town, coming in, baggage handlers, everybody. You gotta win. You gotta win. And I mean, we start. It started at the airport, and it just kept right on going. Yeah, right. the "Let's Go Cavs" chant was uh, very prevalent all around Cleveland and the uh, the surrounding area as the Cavaliers ready to face a Game Seven. So, what do you say we pick it up now? Again, the series tied at three games apiece. We'll start with the fourth quarter. 71-69, Washington. Twelve minutes that will live forever in Cavalier basketball. Let's take a look. The Cleveland Cavaliers. In front of 22,000 screaming, standing fans are trailing the Washington Bullets 71-69. The Bullets will have the basketball, and we open play in the fourth and final period. Twelve minutes away, fellas, from a vacation for somebody. And the, way to, uh, the, the Bullets are going to have to keep their intensity up, and they need a basket right here. Bullets with Dave Bay, Jimmy Jones, Wes Unsell. Nick Weatherspoon, Alvin Hayes as Jones, the length of the floor, got it rimmed in and out. The last two bullet shots have gone in and out. Back come the Cavaliers trailing by two and a chance to tie. Foots Walker with a basketball. Out front, top of the key. 
Cut off. Bingo Smith penetrates, lays it off to Thurman behind him a bit, goes out of bounds. It'll belong to Cleveland. Boy, good defense. Everybody playing tough defense. 12 minutes to play, or you can watch the rest of the playoffs. One well, the Cleveland newspaper said today, isn't it a shame that both these teams can't win it? Dick Snyder outside. Yes. 17 for Snyder. We are tied at 71. That is the fifth time we've had 10 lead changes. And with 11-15 to play, we are where we started, dead even. Puts Walker kicks the ball away. It goes out of bounds. Well, you know, it's only right that this game goes down to the last 12 minutes because it's been even throughout the series. Cleveland, a two-point choice to win, primarily because they're home. Here's Hayes. Turnaround shot. Elvin drills that one from outside. 19 for Elvin Hayes, and he has got to be a factor now. He's going to have to take up the scoring load. Shadir on the bench with five fouls. Foots Walker inside to Thurman. Thurman with Weatherspoon. Goes to the hoop with a hook shot that's short. Gets his own follow. Puts it up and in. Went we, to the boards. We are tied at 73. I thought that was a loose ball foul, but they didn't call it by way. Jones. Crowd hollers defense. Weatherspoon into the free throw circle. Bumped away by Bingo Smith, I believe. Yep. Bingo picks up his second. First team foul in the fourth period, and that's an ever important statistic in this ball game. Dave Bingo put it in play for Washington. They lead, or they don't lead. They are tied at 73. Jimmy Jones, baseline right, inside. Hey, stepped on it. Jones's foot hit the baseline, and the bullets turn over the ball. Well, I thought he was going to pick up a technical in. 17, turn, 17 turnover in the ball game for the against the Washington Bullets. It's foots, a mismatch. Foots, Elvin Hayes is playing. Foots Walker. Elvin Hayes is playing his own defense. Bing steals the ball. Lead pass from Jones. Bing has to gather it in and lay it up and in. Well, what a great play by Dave Bing. Great pass by Jimmy Jones to assist on the play. Bullets by two, 75-73, 9.50 to play in a ball game. Bing almost steals it from Walker. He's challenging the officials with that reach-in tactic. Campy Russell, Elvin Hayes, Russell to the hoop, put it up, blocked by Hayes, no. Shot was no good, no. offensive no. foul on Russell coming down. I'm surprised he tried to challenge him. He just challenged Elvin Hayes straight to the basket that time. Phil Chenier has checked back into the ball game for the Washington Bullets. Look at this. Right into him. Straight over him. It's a tough assignment. It's a surprise to me with nine and a half minutes left that Chenier is back in. It shows you the confidence that Casey Jones has in the intelligence of Phil Chenier to stay out of not pick up that sixth foul. Bill Fitch has sent Austin Carr into the ball game to match up with Phil Chenier. Chenier inside, lays it out front to Jones. Unseld almost lost it, Hayes picks it up. Goes inside to Chenier, fakes, puts up the shot, no. They got a whistle inside, three, three second. second violation. Oh. First time it's been called in this basketball game. Bullets by two, 75-73. 9.15 left to play and the clock is running. We're down to 9.05. Clemens' is shot no good. Rebound to Thurman. Out front to Carr. He kept it alive. Oh, you see a guy like Nate Thurman hustle as long as he's been in the league, and you know what professional sports is all about. Ball stolen away by Jimmy Jones. Carr tried to penetrate. Jones took it away. Good defensive play by J.J. that time. Jones all the way to the baseline. Cut off underneath. Hayes blocked. Follow. Good. Elvin Hayes gets it down. 21 for E. 77-73. The Bullets have worked it back to four. 8.25 left to play in the ball game. Here's Brewer outside. I can't believe that. I can't <laughs> believe that Jim Brewer can score from out there. But he's done it in the last two games. I'll tell you, he feels comfortable shooting there, and he's taking the shot. They're giving it to him. Why not take it? I think I'd have to give it to him, too. I, everybody, they say they're going to give it to him. We got a whistle underneath, away from the basketball. Jake O'Donnell blows the whistle. 
Boy, the type of movement you see in from uh, Phil Chenier moving without the ball. And they call a uh, foul on Austin Carr. Because, boy, that official can call that thing either way, anytime. That's a very dangerous move. Brewers hit five out of seven from the floor as Chenier tries to drive. They don't call a foul, and Phil is a little upset about that one. Good smart play then. Thurman had come over to pick up Phil Chenier, and he tried to bounce it back to Hayes, and they thought it went off of Nate Thurman's leg, but they didn't get the call. Well, it's now apply pressure in the backcourt. Washington leads by two, 7.55 to play in game seven. The winner to meet the winner of the Boston Buffalo series off the glass, no good. Quickly, it's taken away by Thurman and set back out now to Clemens. 20-second injury timeout for the Cavaliers. Thurman shaking up a little bit. They'll take a 20-second injury timeout as Charlie Strasser, the I trainer think, for the Cleveland Cavaliers, comes out to check with the old veteran. Mike, I think he got an elbow on the rebound. Well, uh, again, uh, the officials are letting that loose ball foul go tonight. They're really letting them go to the boards, and Thurman did a good job that time crashing the offensive board, keeping the ball alive, getting the offensive rebound. Chenier has 27 in the ball game, leads all scores. Hayes with 21. Carr with Reardon. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Clemens inside, cut off. Two seconds left. Gets rid of the ball. Brewer inside. They won't get it off. Cavaliers turn it over as the 24-second clock runs out. Dave Bing holding his right thumb again as KC Jones walks out. And Chenier comes back into the ball game. Good move right there defensively. Mike Ridden did an excellent job. When have you seen KC Jones make this many changes in a ball game? He is really working that bench over. He certainly has. And so far, they've all turned out good for him. Chenier puts up the one-hander. He hit it. Chenier with 29 gets a big basket. When was the last time he missed one? The only one <laughs> he made one, they didn't call with a three-second violation, but... Uh, he ain't said he's been missing quite a while. 79-75, bullets by four as Clemens turns around and is fouled by Bing. Bing second. I think Dave, uh, Jimmy Jones was already at the scores table to check back in because Dave banged his thumb again. And I'm sure KC would like to have him healthy with about two or three minutes to go in this game. Clemens will be at the line to shoot, too. Chenier, when you were talking a moment ago, has hit 13 out of 16. I tell you, I think he missed one at halftime doing warm-ups, and that was his <laughs> last shot. Clemens free throw, they're going to have to make their free throws down the stretch. Clemens missed the first one, got the second. He has 10. 79-76, bullets by three. Biggest lead, five. Trailed by as many as seven. Back in the first period at 21-14. And it has been closer than that ever since, flip-flopping back and forth, and we've got a whistle inside. Austin Carr was hanging on for dear life on that play. He had a Phil Chenier around the arm. That's the third team foul on the Cavaliers in this period. That's an impossible uh, assignment. The way Phil Chenier moves so well without the ball, when he gets a double pick, and he can run you any way he wants to, and it's so tough for him. And Washington carelessly throws the ball away again on the inbound pass. Every time they've had a chance to go up and uh, really, really exert some pressure, uh, they've made a, committed an error or uh, thrown the ball away. They're going to have to protect the basketball. Bullets by three, 79-76. Six and a half left in this ball game. Probably should say in regulation. That's Clemens. To Austin Carr, all alone. No good. He has not been a factor here tonight, but oh, can he be when he gets it going. It's just he's, he's the same type of shooter as Phil Chenier. When he hits that streak, look out. Bullets by three can match their biggest lead on this trip. As I said, they've led by four. They've led by five. Hayes, quick turnaround shot. A little out of his range. Didn't get it. Rebound to Campy Russell. Hey, Sam, you've got to give Nate Thurman a lot of credit. He's come in and done a pretty good job on I have to tell you what we're Elvin seeing. Hayes. I have to tell you what we're seeing here right now. We are seeing a couple of coaches who are trying to see each other's hand. Bullets lead it by three, 79-76. The largest crowd ever to see an NBA playoff basketball game. 21,564. 
and the largest crowd ever to see the Cleveland Cavaliers play a basketball game in attendance here. And that is the fourth straight time they've broken a record, I believe, or the third time they've broken it. They set it in game one. And I guess it's a series record also. It's got to be, Mike. 138,475 people have seen this series. Bullets by three. 550 left in the ball game. You wouldn't find a handful that could ever say they've been disappointed. Clements stops top of the key. Thurman tried to roll, no room. He hit it. Clemens didn't have the pick and go, so he took the shot and hit it. And the Bullets lead is one. Five and a half to play. 79-78. You talk about coaches and players earning their money. Chenier cut off by Snyder. Almost lost it and saved it. Hayes with the ball. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Cross court thrown away. Campy Russell. Snyder outside. He knew. I almost said it. They had a chance to go up for the first time in a long time. He doesn't miss many like that. I anticipate a little bit. Bill Fitz showing the strain of the game. Chenier tried to bounce inside, knocked out of bounds off of Thurman. Looks like it hit him on the toe. He's hopping around a little bit. Well, there again, the good move and on a good play. It's a two-man play between Chenier and Hayes. Kicked out again, that time by Clements. Bullets will play it from the side this time. They got to protect that ball down in this stage of the game. They're going to let Jimmy Jones take it out. Jones to Unsell. Chenier away from the basketball. Jones works into the baseline, comes back out. Chenier laying off on the right side. They go inside now to Weatherspoon. He'll put it up short. Rebound, big board by Elvin Hayes. Turn around, follow. Hayes got it on the back of the rim. Thurman takes it away. 4.30 left to play. Bullets by one. Clemens, length of the floor. Hanging shot is no good. On the floor. Bullets don't get the rebound with three inside. Clemens, yes! They're up for the first time in a long time. Shania misses. Bullets trail by one. 4.06 to play. That was the 11th lead change in this ball game, and it was a big one. There goes Brewer, and a foul is going to be called as Brewer goes down hard. Unsell will pick it up. We'll call his, it first, first, his first and only the second team foul called on the Bullets in this period. Here you see the quick move by Brewer. Unsell coming across. Looks like he has position. A judgment call. He didn't get it to go down, but still a good foul by Wes Unsell. Brewer will shoot two. He's one out of two. Got the first one. Cavaliers lead it by two with 3.54 left to play. Brewer can give him a three-point lead and doesn't. Rebound to Hayes, and we've got a foul, loose ball foul call. He finally caught Thurman, didn't he? Yeah, yep. he finally caught him coming over the top. That is the fourth team foul in the ball game. We talked at the top about how important the fouls would be, and it looks like it's coming down to that. Bullets trail by 2, 81-79. 3.45 left in this ball game. Game seven, Chenier to Unsell. Underneath with a scoop, no good. Thurman with a save. Clemens keeps it in play. Clemens, layup good. What a play. Bullets trail it, 81-79. Washington with 45, Chenier, 41 unselled, 11 Hayes, 12 Weatherspoon, and number 15, Jimmy Jones. Cleveland with number 10, Dick Snyder, as they go to unsell. Chenier, right side. His shot's no good. Rebound to Thurman. Lead pass. They let Snyder loose. Snyder underneath. Reverse the score. What a clutch shot by Dick Snyder. Great pass by Thurman. 3.05 left. Bullets trail at 83-79. Weatherspoon cans it. That quiets the well, crowd. What a clutch shot by Nick Witherspoon. I tell you, the Bullets have to be very careful, keep their poise here. That's right. They're going to have teams. to play good sound basketball right here. 
Two Don't give up any cheap baskets. 250 left to play. 83-81. Washington down by two. Snyder 10. Pulls up to Clemens. His one-hander. New. Rebound, Chenier. What a big rebound by Phil Chenier. Another chance to tie. Kind of sounds redundant to say a chance to tie. They right, they been, need a basket here. Only been six ties in the game. Last time at 73. They throw it away. Unsound threw it away as Snyder stepped in front. They go inside and traveling is caught on Russell. That was a bad move by Dick Snyder. It certainly was. Bad pass by Snyder. He didn't expect, Campy Russell did not expect the pass. He wasn't ready to catch it. He was in traffic and couldn't get the ball on the floor. He had to travel. 17th turnover credited against Cleveland. The Bullets have turned it over 23 times. The high of this series was the Bullets 26. Two-point ball game. Clock running, 2-10 to play. Jimmy Jones with oh, a big one to tie. The game is tied at 83. 202 left. Brewer into the fourth court. Brewer between the circles gets to Snyder. Snyder off the center circle to the left wing. Snyder stops and holds. Calls the play. Give to Brewer. 10 on the shot clock. Brewer top of the key. Snyder left side. 12 footer up. No good. Rebound Snyder. Back up. Good. Snyder with 21. 85 83 Cleveland. 138 to play in the game. Jones down the left side. Jones into the corner against Thurman. Turns to his right. Turns to his left. And there's a whistle and a foul on Jimmy Clemens. Picks up the foul, his second. That puts Washington in the bonus. The Bullets now will begin to shoot the free throws with Alvin Hayes at the line. And what kind of irony do we have here in Richfield? We talked about it at the beginning of the game. 1.31 to play in the game. Hayes to tie it up. First one by Alvin Hayes. Goes up. It is no good. Hayes gets it again. Line right. Alvin shoots. It is. No good, rebound Thurman. Thurman to Clemens. A minute and 27 to go. Clemens into the fourth court. Clemens against Jimmy Jones. Clemens right side to Brewer. Brewer between the circles to Russell. 10 on the shot clock. Pass to Snyder, deflected by Jones, grabbed by Unseld. Back to Jones. Jones ahead into the fourth court. 109 to play. Jones on the right wing against Clemens. Around an Unseld pick. Jones to the line, can't shoot against Russell. To Shanir, three second call, gives it back to the Cavaliers. One minute to go. Cleveland leads 85-83. Snyder will inbound in the backcourt. Pressure is on. Snyder into Clemens. Clemens brings it ahead. Less than a minute to play. Clemens into the fourth court against Jimmy Jones. Left wing Snyder. Snyder back out front to Clemens, around to the right to Brewer. Brewer with 47 to go, gives to Russell. Nine on the shot clock, Russell to Snyder. Snyder against Shadir. Snyder drives, goes to the hoop, put it up, block. Tip, no, again, no. Rebound, loose on the floor, grab by Jones. Jones down to Weatherspoon. Half minute to go, Weatherspoon right side, out to Unseld, back to Shadir. Shadir on the wing, 15 footer, good! Chenier with 31, 24 seconds to play, and the game is tied, and the Cavaliers take time. For one of these two teams, the season may be only 24 seconds long. The Cavaliers with number 20, Cappy Russell, 42, Nate Thurman, 52, Jim Brewer, 10, Dick Snyder, and 35, Jim Clements. The Bullets return with 15, Jimmy Jones, and what a, what two games he's had in the last two of this playoff series. No, I don't think enough can be said. 45, Chenier, 11, Jesus. Hayes, and 41, Unsell, and Nick Weatherspoon, number 12. Cavaliers with the ball. 24 seconds left, and extinction for one of these teams, and we're... Clemens going to inbound to Thurman. Back to Clemens. Clemens out of the timeline, 20 seconds to go. Clemens against Jimmy Jones. Clemens moves to the top of the key. Jones still with him. 13 seconds to go. Clemens out front, top of the key. Clemens on the dribble. Timeout, Cleveland. 
So the hearts are definitely pounding and pulsating a little bit quicker now. Nine seconds left. Austin, was this more about Bill Fitch wanting to take a look at what Washington was doing defensively and then readjusting and go to attack it with the final nine seconds? Well, what we wanted to do was, because it was a tie game, is make sure that we didn't get uh, take a shot too quick. So we wanted to run the time down, but at the same time, we knew that they were switching uh, anything in the front court at the time. The key was, could we get a mismatch? And that's what I think we were looking for, and we got it. <laughs> How's the voice holding up, Joe? You getting ready for uh, something very climactic here? No doubt about it. This was just about the point that I, uh, I lost <laughs> completely. <laughs> Tate's going to lose it. The Coliseum might just follow suit. And we'll take you down memory lane. Nine seconds left. Tied at 85 apiece. Bill Fitch has mapped up all of the strategy. It's time to uh, put it into practice on the floor and see what the Cavaliers find. Let's look. Caught with a clock seconds and somebody left has in the to game, it and it's tied at 85. Clemens will inbound on the left side. Clemens looks and waits. Flips to Snyder. Snyder sideline left. Snyder on the dribble drive to the hoop. Put it up. Goal! It's good. Snyder scores with four seconds to go, and the Bullets take time. Set it for. Here comes the play. Unsell lobs it underneath. Snyder knocks it free. Ball picked up by Shadir. Shoots it. No good. No good. The Cavaliers have defeated the Washington Bullets 87 to 85, and the crowd is going berserk at the Coliseum. What a win for the Cleveland Cavaliers, their first time in a playoff to come through in a situation like they have here. And what a disappointing finish for the Washington Bullets.